this video, I will explain you what is intrinsic semiconductor. We will see definition first. Intrinsic semiconductors is having is a crystal having all atoms of same nature. This is the example. See here this is a crystal made up of silicon and you can only see silicon everywhere it is silicon so it's a crystal made up of the same atom so first we will see the crystal at zero kelvin now we know that none of the electron would be free electron all the electrons would be in shared condition or i can say that in bonded condition all the valence electron the electron in the inner in inner orbit would be revolving so 2884 right so the, the 2 8 and 8 the inner electrons would be revolving and outer valence electron i'm only going to talk about valence electron from now onwards okay so i'm there is nothing to deal with innermost electron okay which is 2 8 8 4 2 electron inside nucleus and 8 again 8 and 4. So I am only going to talk about these 4 electrons and these are the electrons that form that participate in bonding. Okay. These are called as valence electron. Now all the valence electrons are in bonded condition. Okay. So these electrons are not free electrons and that they are not ready to contribute towards conduction they cannot contribute because these are bonded or i can say that these are bound electron that are residing within the atom okay this electron only when they are coming out then i can say that these are free electron and when i am keeping a positive potential here this electron will come towards the positive potential creating a current but now at zero kelvin there are no free electron or when i am drawing the energy band diagram all the electron would be in valence band because they are in the valence orbit electron here electron here now this valence band is occupied by the electrons all electrons from the valence orbit of each atom so all electrons in the valence band valence orbit of each atom would occupy the valence band at zero kelvin at conduction band we have zero electron would this be conducting no right now when we are increasing the temperature we have came to room temperature now many of the electron has got energy so that it can jump to conduction band Say for example, four electron have jumped. Okay. Now, whenever the electrons are being jumped from its position, that is from its bonded position, from where it has jumped, that will be a hole having a positive charge. And now the electrons are in the conduction band. This electron when provided with an electric field that would drift making a current okay now we have four holes and four electron say for example i have one electron so these four electrons so two from okay this electron have came out returning a hole here and this electron have came out and returning a hole here this electron have came out and returning a hole here okay for an example as an example so what is the temperature this it's 27 degrees celsius or 300 kelvin at this temperature four say for example four electron have came out because these were able to jump across the energy gap of a value less than three electron volt because it has got higher thermal energy because this is a excited state or higher temperature which is 300 kelvin now these are free electron right free electron for free electron we are having and i am going to connect this across a potential difference so this is negative i'll read redraw it here okay the same crystal i am going to connect across a potential difference positive and negative 
here it, this is negative and this one is positive now this electron will come towards the positive plate right positive potential what will happen to this hole see now say for example this hole is attracting electrons from here okay now this can also attract electron from here but see this electron can be immediately taken to this hole why you know see we have assistance support offered by the negative potential here now these negative charges will be repelling this electron but this cannot jump out because taking out this electron is not very possible with lower potential with with only the assistance of this potential but here in this case these electrons are attracted by nearby holes so already there is a force of attraction and along with that this negative potential will help us so this negative potential will repel the electron and this positive charges will attract the electron and why this electron cannot come out with this potential because they are only attract repelled by these negative charge plate or i can say that negative potential of the battery okay this is nothing but negative terminal of the battery and this is positive terminal of the battery now here the electrons are attracted by the positive terminal and these are attracted by holes this is very important because the distance is very less in between atom it is okay one atom in, in between two nearby atom now we know that coulomb's law for, for coulomb's law of attraction is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 divided by r square now the distance is very small this force would be very high okay so these are attracted and again attracted by this positive plate again repelled by this negative plate so a lot of force so that this can come out and this will occupy this position now this has become a hole here okay now previously the hole was here and see this were position occupied okay now this is this was a position occupied by electron okay here also we have a position occupied by electron but this electron when it come out now this electron will occupy this position and making a hole here okay i'll represent it here this has become a hole here and this is now occupied now this hole will attract this electron okay which is very nearby and these electrons are repelled by this negative potential and also attracted by this positive potential and all together what will happen this electron will come from its position and it should go to this position now this is occupied this become hole now this electron come here from the occupied position this become occupied and this become hole and have you seen the movement of hole from this position to here then to here then to here so this process will happen now this is a positive charge right now we can see in the case of intrinsic semiconductor that a positive charge is moving that is nothing but movement of hole and that will make a current ih and what would be the direction of current in due to the movement of positive charge it's the same direction this is the direction of current and i can say this as current due to holes or ih hole current now at the same time these free electrons you know these free electrons anyway would be attracted by the positive terminal of the battery now this free electron would move in this direction now there may be a confusion with you sir these electrons are moving in this direction and holes are moving in opposite direction they would cancel each other right no because whenever electrons are moving in this direction we know that the current would be in opposite direction now these are movement of electron but current due to movement of electron is opposite to the direction of movement of electron and that would be in this direction now what is the total current that is ie plus ih what is ie i is current due to movement of electron and what is ih current due to movement of hole what is the charge of electron negative what is the charge of hole positive okay now at higher temperature we can see holes here and electrons in the conduction band this can contribute towards conduction this can contribute towards conduction okay now at lower temperature this is not possible because all the electrons are in its lattice lattice means in the bonded condition okay 
Thank you.